In this video, we'll draw the cross section of an object, and then we'll use the screw tool to make a surface of revolution. All right, in my notebook here, I drew out some cross sections of a few objects that I thought might work well. If you've seen Light and Magic, the uh, ILM documentary on Disney+, Plus, there's a, a clip of Jim Blinn talking about uh, how he drew out on a piece of graph paper the outline of this cup shape and then made it into a surface of revolution in the computer. Uh, so I figured for today's video, let's do, uh, do a cup shape. All right, so option one. Here you're going to start with uh, a mesh, just any mesh that you choose. Uh, I chose a plane. And then in edit mode, delete most of the vertices. I left two of them so that you have this uh, uh, straight line here for the flat edge at the bottom. Uh, then it's just E on the keyboard to extrude and use the gizmo to move it around and draw out the profile of your shape. Uh, you want to keep your outline flat in 2D, so that is why I like using the gizmo. You could also use G and then hit X or Y to constrain on that axis if you wanted to do that, that that's an option. Once your drawing is uh, finished, go to the Modifiers tab, Add Modifier, choose Screw, uh, bump up the steps to 64, and then uh, right click on this one and choose Shade Auto Smooth, and that's going to give the, the best shading I think on this one. See, it looks like a Lego goblet. All right, option two. This time we're gonna use a Bezier curve. And this will allow us to have nice rounded corners on everything. This time I subdivided it and then I'm repositioning the points and the handles to make it the shape that I want. Uh, but you could also use the extrude uh, then move points around in the, in the same way that we did before. It's a little bit more work uh, having to do the handles and everything, but uh, the nice thing about these Bezier curves is how smooth they make the resulting surface. Alright, when you have it to your liking, uh, then add the screw modifier. And again, bump it up to 64. See 32 here, it's just not quite enough, uh, but 64 looks really good. It is smooth shaded by default, so if you want it to shade flat, you need to uncheck that in the modifier panel. Option three. So this one was the most fun. So you're just going to go to Add, Grease Pencil, and then choose Blank, and then go into Draw Mode, and then you just draw your object. And then once you're done, you go into Edit Mode and clean things up. Now for this one, before you add the screw modifier, we have to take another step and convert it. So go up to Object, choose Convert, and choose Bezier. We'll do that one first. Uh, and it makes a, a new Bezier curve version of your drawing. So it keeps the old one. All right, so we'll bump this up to 64. Oh, it looks so cool. So much detail there. All right, so now let's... Uh, Select the original grease pencil drawing, and we'll go to Convert, and choose Polygon Curve. It's pretty similar. Uh, I think the Bezier has uh, more pronounced grooves, and the polygonal seems to be more smooth overall. But I think both look really nice. They look like pottery. And then here are a few other objects I made with the same technique. I think the grease pencil was the most fun option, and I have some ideas for some future videos based on uh, uh, some stuff that I was playing with with that. And then I threw some textures on just for fun. Really love the way that ceramic bowl turned out. If you enjoyed this tutorial, I have other tutorials in the works. So uh, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on them. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. Cheers.